friend Steve been talking about the fact that guys actually have a chemical reaction happening in their mind. They can get addicted to looking at porn, uh, going to the web, and so on. Uh, is there something, what hooks the woman? In other words, where, how fast can you slide down the slope here? Well, I think at first for women, a lot of times they'll say, I just wanted to see what my husband was looking at or what my boyfriend's so fascinated about. And they'll start looking at it themselves. But they don't understand that you know, we can be as chemically addicted to that, you know, the, whatever that is that's released in the brain, as men are. And uh, Fred shared the statistic earlier in the day that 87% of college women are looking at Internet pornography. And so I think that with every generation, it, I think that number just continues to creep up and up. Sure, it was an unpopular thing for a woman to do back when pornography first came out, but now it's pretty much the same. And, and I don't think that it's an irony at all that also the, the statistics of women who are acting out sexually is now meeting up with that of the man. So we can't say, well, this is a, a man's issue. Women don't have that problem. No, the statistics show that anywhere between 40 and 65 percent, according to which study you read, of women are having extramarital affairs at some point in their married life. And so we're, we're, we're reaping what we sowed. You know, we, we, we can't get under the impression that we can do this as a single woman or as a young woman and not still be t so overwhelmingly tempted to do that as a married woman. As I discovered, putting this, we this wedding band on my finger didn't change anything except my last name. It never changed how I interacted with men and how I saw myself.